and Don's pulling on the bar to check the end float in the crank. These are the two bearings that support the, the rotor and this is the exciter on the back. We've aligned them to the, the flywheel coupling and as you can see it turns quite freely. So now it's just a matter of putting the drive springs in, putting the housing on and making sure we've still got thrust in the engine crankshaft. The thrust is controlled in the alternator by a bearing in the end here. So there's no float in the alternator, but float in the engine. Because what you don't want is the alternator fighting the crankshaft. Because one of them will win. This is the coupling between the engine and the alternator. And these are the drive springs that go like so, all the way around, that transmit the power from the flywheel to the coupling. All the springs are now in position, and it's just a matter of lifting this rather heavy drum over the springs to contain them. And now we'll have a quick feel round at the thrust bearing. All the rest of the bearings appear to be cold. Cold? Yeah. Is that the thrust? 